The Karate Kid 2010 Shelter of Karate Central China, Early Years of the Republic, c. 20s. In Denfeng, Men Province, a battle for the city has just taken place between rival warlords and, as winter approaches, the monks of Shaolin Temple help shelter and feed the locals. Defeated warlord Hu Long, Chen Jihui, takes refuge in the temple, where he is hunted down and by victorious warlord Hu Ji, Liu Dehe, even after he has handed over to Hu all his plunder. After taking control of the city, Hu Ji tells his deputy command, Kishi Tinfeng, whom he took under his wing like a younger brother years earlier, to fellow warlord Song Hu, Shi Zhe Han, who wants to divide up the city between them. Hu Ji's wife, Yan Shi, Fan Bingbing, begs him not to, as Song Hu was Hu Ji's sworn elder brother, but Hu Ji refuses. At the dinner where the assassination is to take place, the plan goes awry, and Hu Ji just manages to escape with his young daughter Hu Shaknan, who is seriously wounded. Hu Ji takes refuge in Shaolin Temple and begs the monks to help save her, but Hu Shaknan dies. Enraged, Hu Ji's wife walks out on him. After meeting itinerant monk Wu Dao, Chen Long, who works in Shaolin's kitchen, Hu Ji enrolls at the temple as a novice, despite the enmity of many monks, including Jin Neng, Wu Jing, Jin He, Yu Shi Alkun, and Jin Kong, Shi Yanung, over his former behavior towards them. However, he gradually wins their trust and becomes a fully-fledged Shaolin monk called Jin Zhu. Meanwhile, Cao Man, who double-crossed Hu Ji over Song Hu's assassination, has done a deal with British military types to help them build a railway in exchange for automatic guns. Now crazed with power, Cao Man asks Hu Ji to rejoin him, but Hu Ji refuses, setting the two on collision course, and Shaolin Temple with them. Review of that Chinese title, New Shaolin Temple, signals it as a remake of the 1982 mainland movie that introduced Li Li and Jet Jet Li. Shaolin is much more than just a popcorn action drama reminiscent of Hong Kong productions shot in China 20 years ago. The plot also centers on a man who turns to the temple for redemption, and the movie also features actor Kum Wash Grandmaster Yu Harry from the original, but the setting is updated to the early 20th century, with a strong message for the present about the great powers falling over themselves to get in China, to quote the opening titles, and there's none of the 1982 film's obsessive focus on training and technique that was such a part of martial arts films of the era. As a popcorn movie, Shaolin is an entertaining two-hour-plus ride, with strongly drawn characters, some good action sequences, the early escape of the character played by Liu Dehe, and Di Lao with axes and horses, the temple's final destruction, and handsome production values with a grey, dusty look to the temple scenes. Its main problem, as with many films by Hong Kong director Chen Mush and Benny Chang in X Cops, 1999. City Under Siege, 2010, is that it still promises much more than it actually delivers. The movie's original version was reportedly around three hours, and a lot appears to have disappeared in the cutting room while trying to get it down to just over two. After a broad limb beginning, which draws the plight of the locals following a battle between opposing warlords, and sets up the forthcoming conflict between a use ruthless general, the loose cannon deputy of Kissy Tinf and Nicholas C., and with amongst themselves, the film sketches the former's personal life with his wife and young daughter, followed by a well-paced restaurant sequence in which the assassination plot of a use general goes horribly wrong. From Theron, however, Shaolin gradually abandons any pretense of being an epic character drama and becomes a formulaic action movie. Even the nicely insoken character of a monk cook played by Cheng Long, Jackie Chan is interestingly set up but then pretty much thrown away. The veteran star gets one wordy five sequence with kitchen implements and kids but is never really incorporated into the plot. Mainland actress Fan Bing Bing simply disappears during the middle portion before being resurrected as a plot convenience. The film still has more going for it on a character level than recent big-budget action drama Detective D and the Mystery of the Phantom Flame, 2010, which also started promisingly, and the action and martial arts, staged by veterans Yuan Ku Kora Yuan and Yuan D, features some solid business without resorting to fantastic visual effects. But with this kind of cast and budget, Shaolin could have been much more. Liu's classy stabbed in comes in. The first half hour is the unreformed bad guy, where he's well supported by Kissy as his ambitious sidekick. Liu's later playing of the redeemed monk and Kissy's power-crazed warlord are much more formulaic. Some of the best interaction is between the trio of monks played by action star Wu Jing, Wind Blast, 2010, up-and-coming Yushi Alkun, the young Mai Lan Fang in Forever Enthralled, 2008, and dopey-looking Shi Yang. All have professional wash training and likable screen presences, with Shi an actual Shaolin disciple for good measure. Script, Zhang Jiguin, Wai Kiri, Chen Jin Chang, Zhai Tan. Original script, Yun Jin Lin Alan Yuan. Photography, Pan Yaoming Anthony Pan. Editing, Kiru Yokai Music, Nicholas Herrera, Choose Ending Anthony Wu.
Production Design, Shi Zong Wen Yi Chung Man. Art Direction, Li Yimintian Ben Lao. Sound, Hu Zhu. Action, Yuan Ku Kora Yuan. Martial Arts, Yuan Di, Li Sing Zai and Eki Li. Visual Effects, Wang Chirning Eddie Wong. Cast, Liu De and Di Lao Hu Ji, General, Kissy Tin Fan Nicholas Si Ko Man, Fan Bing Bing, Yan Shi, Hu Ji's wife, Chen Long Jackie Chan Wu Dao, Wu Jing, Jin Nan, Yu Shi Alkun, Jin He, Shang Xin Jin, So Jian, Yu He, Shao Li Nagat, Shi Yanung, Jin Kong, Bear Bing, Tenra, Shi Zhu Han, Song Hu, General, Chen Ji Hui, He Long, General, Liang Jink.